You may have seen a new white paper from Splunk Surge that compares ransomware encryption speeds from groups like Conti, Babook, and Aribel. Well, today we have even more research to share with you. For the white paper, Surge member Shannon Davis tested how fast 100 ransomware binaries each encrypted 100,000 files. But before he got started, he noticed the only existing data on encryption speeds was from one of the ransomware groups themselves. Lockbit released their own findings on the dark web, claiming their ransomware was the fastest compared to 34 other criminal groups. Lockbit even provided links to download the ransomware samples used in their tests. Shannon decided to launch a second experiment to test these claims using the same samples. He set up a modified version of Splunk Attack Range to build systems in AWS that match Lockbit specifications as closely as possible. He then analyzed the speed of each test run using Splunk. The results? Lockbit claimed their 2.0 variant is the fastest, followed by Lockbit 1.0 and Cuba Ransomware. Our results did not line up with that ranking. We found Lockbit 1.0 was the fastest at 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Pwned Locker came in second at 2 minutes 28 seconds, and Lockbit 2.0 came in third at 2 and a half minutes. However, Lockbit 2.0 was more efficient than 1.0, using only half the CPU threads and hitting the disk 127th the amount. These three variants each utilized partial encryption to speed up the process. In this text file encrypted by Lockbit 2.0, the first four kilobytes in red was encrypted and the rest of the file in green was left untouched. Lockbit measured encryption time for 100 gigabytes and 10 terabytes per sample, but their data set was unclear. If they used varying file types and sizes, that could explain why our findings didn't line up. Either way, it's clear from these tests that once encryption is underway, it's likely too late to stop it. We've heard rumblings about a new variant called Lockbit Black, but have yet to get our hands on a sample. So if you've seen it, let us know. And for more information about this research, just click on the link to our blog in the YouTube comment section, or just visit splunk.com slash search.